Okay, welcome back to Sports Night. You know, we've been talking about AccuScore for the last week and a half here, and everybody's really intrigued on our forecast. Well, here to talk about AccuScore, co-founder Gibby McCaleb, and thanks for coming in. We're going to find out what this is and uh, give you also some uh, prop bets and talk about the uh, the big game next week. Uh, but Gibby, let's start off. What is AccuScore? What is AccuScore? Um, well, it's, it's a complex computer simulation program that basically simulates a sporting event. Um, if you look at football as an example, we create little virtual players based on all sorts of different attributes and we put them on a team and we play one play at a time because you know in football everything that happens in that game is dependent on what happened before and what happens next so um, and then we repeat that simulation 10,000 times yeah. so what you can imagine is if you look at the newspaper every day and you get a box score mm -hmm. Imagine 10,000 box <laughs> scores, and that's yeah. what we produce. So at the end of the result, is we can come up with the probability of just about anything happening in a, in a football game. And that's what it is. It's, it's probability based, and again, we love it here in Las Vegas because obviously it just gives us another way to attack those lines exactly, that, uh, exactly. that they're kicking out. And uh, an uh, interesting story on how this all came about. Tell everybody uh, how it all started and how you, uh, without giving away the formula, how it, how it created. I know this sounds so nutty, but it really is a true story. Yeah. My business partner uh, has a double master's degree um, in mathematical engineering and anthropology and he originally wrote this simulation to simulate human evolution to study <laughs> anthropology. Great. He happens to be a sports fanatic and uh, he actually, the first sport he ever did was basketball and, and did the same kind of thing for basketball that he did for anthropology. Yeah. So, you know, genetics, uh, sport. Yeah, it all yeah. makes sense. No, not at all, but it works for you guys, <laughs> It right? works for me and it pays my rent. Uh, everybody wants to talk about the big, big game next week. The Saints and the Colts, uh, break it down. Give everybody some numbers and some things that they can look at. We actually have the Colts winning slightly but the Saints covering the spread. Okay. Um, our, our data simulation came out 10,000 times. You take the median points mm -hmm. or the middle point of that data set, and that's the Colts winning by three, which oddly enough is, is uh, right about what the line opened at, three to three and a mm -hmm. half. Right. But as you see, it's gone way up. So if you're if you're a betting person and yeah. you're a Saints fan, yeah, it's looking real good for you. Because yeah, around five right now, depending on where you shot. Yeah, I've seen yeah. five, five and a half, mm -hmm. and right. I don't know what it'll be up you know, by game time. And you also have uh, an interesting line uh, when you talk about the Saints, if they, if Pierre Thomas has a good game, uh, the Saints could win this thing outright. Well, one of the things that, that is, I think, great about what we do is we factor in everything from mm -hmm. coaching tendencies and, and how the players perform under certain scenarios. And if Pierre Thomas gets at least 75 yards rushing and one touchdown, uh, the Saints go to huge favorites. 75% of the time, the Saints will win that game, and by a median um, amount of about 10 points. The total's 56. Like we said, the, the the line is around five, depending on where you shop. Again, the total varies too. Uh, what do you have? What numbers break down uh, from? Well, right now, and again, based on the weather, it's looking like an under, and uh, which is also reinforces why we we um, think Pierre Thomas is such a key factor. Um, a couple of the other keys of the games that we're looking at is um, the the Colts' offensive line ability to protect Peyton Manning. If you look at the Saints in about the first 12 weeks of the season, they were getting after people. They were getting a lot of interceptions, great pass defense. The last several games, not quite as well. So if they bring that kind of level of pressure, that definitely affects the Colts. But if the Colts are able to protect Manning, he has no sacks and no interceptions, which is very possible sure, with right. the Colts and Manning. Their success, um, right. Flips the other direction. You've got the Colts winning almost 80% of the time. So those are, are, we think, the two keys of the game is the Colts protecting Manning, obviously, and then um, Saints being able to, to grind it out on the ground. Okay, obviously have some interesting prop bets. We always like the prop bets. Uh, talk about those and, and what kind of uh, prop bets with the uh, quarterbacks and maybe some receivers that you see. Yeah, I got, a, I got a few that I just brought. You know, mm -hmm. In fact, we have a tool at AccuScore.com where you can plug in the numbers that, that the, the books are giving you for a prop bet, yeah. and we'll give you the probability uh, over and above. But a couple that I thought I'd throw out there sure. is, um, for example, we got Manning right at about 300 passing yards. Um, this is the baseline simulation with no adjustments. Right. Um, another one that we've got is you know, Drew Brees at about 260. Um, the three big receivers are all right around with each other. we got Clark. Um, and Colston both at 70 okay. and then uh, Reggie Wayne a little bit better with a little bit over 80 yards. Okay. Um, and as far as the ground game, it favors the Saints. Okay. So as a team, they're picking up about 110, 115 to just barely at 100 for the Colts. Okay, AccuScore again, it's really neat. Uh, and we've been doing it for, we, we gave it at the top of the uh, top of the show for the UNLV game. And uh, it, we, you guys do all the sports. And again, like we said, it's, it's probability based. So that's the concept mm -hmm. is, is that, you know, over time, the probability is going to work in your favor. And, and that's shown to be consistently true with us. Okay, so. well, Gibby, we appreciate you coming hey, in. And, and again, we're we're running the uh, UNLV basketball uh, AccuScore forecast for yeah, everybody. Absolutely. And we that do gives again a probability. Pro so, in college yeah. basketball, pro yeah. in college football, pro baseball, and pro hockey. Yeah. So, you know, any of those sports interest you, check it out on definitely on your website. Yep, yep. And of course, AccuScore.com. AccuScore.com. Yeah, the though. link. Uh, right, right. MyNews3.com as well. You can check it out on our website. Kevin, anything for Displaced Texas. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Give me, we appreciate it. And uh, Randy, back to you.
All right, thanks, Kevin. You get mathematical engineers. I just <laughs> have simple golf highlights off.